Hey there, welcome back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Like always, I appreciate you swinging by the channel and watching a review here. Uh, tonight, I'm going to feature one out of Alaskan Brewing Company. Done quite a few of their beers here on the channel. I don't know, quite a few. Maybe five, half a dozen of them, something like that. Uh, this here is their limited uh, release. It is their Strawberry Haze IPA. I'm sure the artwork's running up here. So, what is this Strawberry Haze IPA? So, Alaskan uh, Brewing Company has a very good IPA called the Hazy Bay IPA. This here is like a strawberry twist uh, to that IPA, okay? So, uh, a little bit about it here on the channel. It says, um, one thing on there, it says uh, they didn't want to overdo it. Let's see here. So they found a delicate balance between um, the berry flavor and the hops. Fruit flavor and the hops. So I don't think this is going to be a strawberry bomb IPA. Um, which, uh, when I first picked it up, I was kind of hoping it was. Nice strawberry tart IPA. However, that may not be the case after reading about it here on the channel. So, their Hazy Bay IPA. I can't, I can't remember if I reviewed that or not on the channel. Um, I've, I have had it, but I don't know if I reviewed it on the channel. I've, this is, I'm closing in on um, 600 uh, reviews and I can't really remember every one of them that I've ever done there without looking it up and you know me I don't do that much research right so let's look at the artwork here this this can is almost identical um, except for the color scheme as far as the artwork uh, and, and I believe it might be identical to the Hazy Bay IPA I believe the Hazy Bay IPA is like green um, actually let me look it up here the Hazy Bay link was clicked here uh, yeah, so the Alaskan uh, Hazy Bay Juicy IPA, it's like an orange and, and blue at the bottom here, but it's more of an orange where this is a red up on top here. So very similar artwork. As far as the artwork on this here, uh, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. Hey, it is what it is. This here is coming in at 6% alcohol by volume. Uh, do they list the IBU here on the website? 53 IBU. So it's going to have a modest bitterness to it, I hope. Uh, so, let's crack this thing open, see what it's all about. Uh, I do wonder what the color is going to be. It's going to be the, I believe it's like an ambery color for the, uh, yeah, it's looking, yeah, it's probably going to be that same color as the Hazy Bay was. So, hey, like always, uh, appreciate you watching this video here tonight. Uh, check out my other content. Uh, drop a comment down below. Uh, hit the like button down there. Give it a thumbs up. After you're done watching this, check out my other content, of course. Uh, so we got a, uh, you know, I'm going to say that's a frothy head in there. About uh, not quite three fingers in there. Uh, we do have some fisheye bubbles popping away in there. Get the color on that. Let's, let's grab the chart here. What color do we even have here? Uh, I'm going to say this is a pale uh, amber to a medium amber color to this. Look at that there. Nice looking beer. See what the nose has. So it actually smells like a typical uh, hazy New England style IPA type of uh, aroma with some hint of a, like a berry. I don't know. Strawberry. It's going to be a strawberry, but it's a hint of. Yep, definitely a little bit of strawberry in there. Actually, very nice. Uh, the more I get my nose in that, it does have a very nice strawberry uh, strawberry nose to it. Still this uh, hazy uh, IPA going on there. Uh, a lot of people are getting sick of the hazy IPAs. A lot of people are getting sick of the double dry hop. Me, I welcome them. I look forward to drinking these things. So uh, let's get a drink on. See what the taste says it's all about. So, this is 6% alcohol. Oddly enough, I feel like I, or I it, it seems like in the taste I can pick up a, a faint hint of the alcohol, which is really weird. Hmm. 
So, yeah, that's a little weird. So not as bitter um, as I was. Uh, it's it's only what fifty three IBU. Not crazy uh, bitter there. A um, little bit more of a hoppier profile than I was anticipating. A little less strawberry, actually. I was hoping for a lot of strawberry. After I read it, I was like, ah, it's not going to be strawberry. They said a subtle strawberry to balance out with the hops. So very mild on the strawberry. Personally, I could use a little bit more strawberry in it, but I get what they were going for. There's a lot of strawberry. Uh, people add strawberry tartness to their IPAs to change it up quite a bit. This isn't really that much strawberry. I would like to have a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, with the two just to actually see uh, how much um, strawberry is actually in this. Overall, uh, medium bodied mouthfeel, nothing too crazy there. Uh, it hits the tongue. You get the uh, little bit of the hoppiness, a little bit of mild pininess that actually flows through as well. Doesn't really, it's got the nose of a hazy New England style IPA, but not really the taste of it. Don't get a lot of, you know, um, citrusy notes in here. Uh, one thing on there did say um, local Alaskan flavor, glacial water, and Alaskan wheat. Okay, so eh, just a little thing inside the can. I thought, I thought I'd read off to you. So it does have a, a, a little bit of a graininess to it, grainy, piney, almost like a dirt. Um, dirt grassiness to it um, outside of that it's pretty good I do believe I like the uh, it's been a while since I've had the hazy bay uh, IPA I believe I like that better than this um, definitely not my favorite personally I'd love to have more strawberry in it but I do get that what they were going for uh, getting the mild strawberry and not being being like everybody else just pounds of strawberry in there so for that I give them props uh, for me personally scoring this I'm gonna punch it in, honestly. I'm gonna give it about a generous four out of five. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pump it up to a four because it is drinkable, I do like it, I can drink this. I just wish I had a little bit more to it. Uh, but I'm gonna give it a four out of five. So you've had this before. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Uh, like always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Uh, become a subscriber and check out my other content. Thank you very much.